So here's a detailed look at the underside. We have three cross braces. Our aprons are 53 inches. The legs are 28 and a half. And the top members, 10 of those at six feet. 10 two by fours at six feet. We put these angled corner braces in here. We may have been able to get by with Craig screws, but I think these are a little bit stronger. But the real strength of the legs lies in this cross brace. This brace is at 45 degrees and we lag bolted it into the leg and that's re really made the leg sturdy. We Craig screwed every board together. And then once we had it Craig screwed, we put the three braces in and put at least two screws in each one of those. On the end here, we put Craig screws, tried to get two of them in each board. I don't think we quite made it on all of them, but that'll keep the ends from curling up. In our case, the two apron boards here are 44 inches. The top is 51 because we wanted to make sure it fit under the table. Trying to secure these bench legs was the biggest problem of the build. There's just not a great way to do it without having hardware show. So the first thing we did was to screw the Craig screws in. But that's certainly not going to hold it. So then we made an L-shaped bracket that will fit down in here. That way, we can attach one side here We had to recut this board several times to get the fit right. I think it was my fault, not Jake's. So now having this one secured, we can screw down the bench's top. We're using two and a half inch screws here. Then I can add some three inch screws into the leg. That's a lot better, but it's still not great. In our case, this board is seven and an eighth. Don't cut all the boards and then try to fit it together because it could be off a little bit. It's best to cut it as you go. I like that fit. So now, I've drilled these deep enough that a three inch screw will not come all the way through the top. That way with four screws here, I can get two screws in each board. Now by drilling it three quarters of an inch, I also have room to put another screw into here and I've got a little washer on here so that'll keep the screw head from pulling through. I can angle that in and put another three inch screw into that leg for even more support. We'll do that on both sides. There's no way to get a Craig screw in here. The angle just doesn't work out. Now, that's looking a lot better. These legs are really pretty stable. So I thought of this after Jake left. This is the kind of stuff that keeps me up at night. We can get one more level of insurance in here. And this one, I will screw to the inside brace here. That will allow me to get two more screws into the legs. 
So now I'm pretty happy these legs are on here really stable right now. In the future, as this dries out, we may need to put a brace down here, but that's in the future. Here's a detailed look of the bench's bottom. Four cross members, all Craig screwed into the apron and then the bench top screwed to it. If you just made four legs like this front one, this bench is really a piece of cake. The hard part was putting the, bench, the back seat on. Jake and Laura have two small children, so they added the back. So the front legs here are 16 and a half inches. The back legs are 30 inches. That's one by fours on the back. We pre-drilled and measured all these screws so they would look even. That's the only hardware that shows on the whole build.